It was a huge win for democracy last night in Wisconsin. Wisconsin voters have made their voices heard. They've chosen to reject partisan extremism in this state. And second, it means our democracy will always prevail. Our state is taking a step forward to a better and brighter future where our rights and freedoms will be protected. The Wisconsin Supreme Court was the only court in the country that actually considered overturning the last presidential election. Last night, in a decisive 11-point victory, Milwaukee County Judge Janet Protasiewicz won a seat on the Wisconsin State Supreme Court, beating extremist Dan Kelly. This flips the court from an extremist right-wing Trump-supporting court to a sane court, some might say a liberal court, for the first time in 15 years. Sanity now has a four to three majority on that court, which could be making crucial decisions for the state on abortion rights, gerrymandered legislative districts, and possibly the outcome of the 2024 presidential election. Today, Ben Wickler, chair of the state Democratic Party, tweeted this election was a release valve for 12 years of Democratic rage in Wisconsin about Republicans rigging our state and smashing our democracy and then using that power to rip away our rights. In the winner's circle tonight, Ben Wickler, chair of the Democratic Party of Wisconsin. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, It must feel like uh, an amazing place to be. Uh, 11 points. Uh, I know I had a feeling, uh, based on some of the public things you said before the election, that you were confident, but uh, I didn't sense 11 points of confidence. No, this was a voter uprising. This was a state that has suffered through blow after blow after blow. The the smashing of unions, the ripping apart of voting rights, the gerrymandering of districts, and then re-gerrymandering, unlike anywhere else in the country, by the Supreme Court. Even after we elected a governor who ran on a promise of fair maps, the Supreme Court just went around voters and chose the most partisan gerrymander in the United States. But last night, voters cast their final ballots and said absolutely no more. And today we're waking up in a state that has a a path forward to actually become a legitimate functioning democracy. My eight-year-old daughter will cast a ballot for president in 2032 while Janet Protasiewicz sits on the Wisconsin State Supreme Court and safeguards the promise that when voters choose their leaders, those leaders stay chosen. Uh, Were abortion rights the principal issue here? Abortion rights were the most powerful issue in this race and were linked inextricably to these questions around democracy. Wisconsin has an abortion ban that was passed 174 years ago, before women had the right to vote, before the germ theory of disease was widely accepted. It starts at zero weeks, has no exceptions for rape or incest or the health of the mother. Dan Kelly absolutely would have affirmed that abortion ban if he were on the state Supreme Court. Janet Protasiewicz has been very clear. She won't prejudge a case, but her view is that abortion is a decision that should be left up to the person whose body is affected. So this was a central issue for people of all generations. We had a huge surge in youth turnout. This was an issue that motivated a huge gender gap, but also enraged men who don't want to see people that they love and people in their communities endangered and threatened and restricted and unfree because of this ban. But even though two thirds of Wisconsinites oppose the abortion ban, the state legislature dominated through this Republican gerrymander refused to do anything about it. The governor called for a special session to repeal it. They gaveled in and gaveled out within a few seconds. It was a slap in the face to the Wisconsin public, and the Wisconsin public fought back.